On the last episode, we left the town of Lesser Aler the island of Lesser Alertos and the town there, and we sailed to Radonis Island to visit the sanctuary. Along the way, we met a joke-loving dragon and told him a very, very funny joke. Thank you, Vogglerberger. And upon reaching there, we, uh, our intrepid players have dedicated themselves to a new mission. Defeating the Rot. However, while spending some time at uh, this sanctuary, they uncovered some startling information. Namely, they discovered, um, our good friend Zephyr discovered that there may be another Air Genasi left alive after the destruction of his people. And um, uh, Wainstrom uncovered a way and the origin of the rot. Vogler got attacked by a duck. And they all leveled up. And now we meet our players once again as they board their new ship given to them by Alutharis the Golden Dragon as they set out on their quest. I like how Today I'm right? using my blue dice. Blue dice. Dice, dice of the day. Dice of the day. Dice of the day. Dice of the day. I like how like, Zephyr have such a like. Yeah. Whoa, me and Zephyr had such a like majestic opening, and then Chris just or fucking Vogler just got attacked by a duck. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty on par. Duck, You'll get it next time, Vog. It's, it's pretty on par. You'll, You'll beat that the duck next time. Whatever. You'll beat that duck next. Oh my god! Uh, whoa! <laughs> All right, where are we gonna go? Unfortunately for this episode, I'm going to be in this shadow box. What a shame. What a, what a, I'm going to be in the what shame. What island should we go to first? Do we want to go to the anchor? Do we want to uh, go to Greater Alertos? Could. Could be, could be the move. Maybe. Or do we want to go higher? <laughs> do we want to go drag uh, fucking Bob Fishman onto our boat? <laughs> Could we like kidnap him? No. I feel like he would not be very happy if we did that. <laughs> yeah, thinking him. about going anywhere, you could do a history check or ask me. I might. I'll see. I'll tell you what information you would know. Um, yeah. Yeah. What? What information? About the place you want to go to. Yeah. Let's do that. Um. Well. Do we want to go to? Uh, uh, what was the place? Salvation Island. Also, we could go, or we could just honestly explore and try to get more gold. And because he did say we're not really going to be able to deal with the rotting isles. True. We would need to like like level up and and uh. Mm -hmm. We need to level get, up, get fight a lot of stuff, get stuff. a lot of money, buy better gear, and train. What's the um? Is so the Alertos region region has a king, and the, does the Grand Reef also have a king? Yes, yeah. the Kingdom of the Grand Reef has... I feel like we could go to Greater a... Alertos, because we never actually talked to the king about what we did on his island. Yeah, I feel like that could... We could go to Greater Alertos, then head to the Grand Reef then, after. Or maybe Salvation. Or Salvation, and then... Just that I also want to check out Anchor Island and the Pirate Kingdom, because yeah. now my character has more of a lead on... I mean, now that we have movement, being it other... would be nice to just kind of explore everywhere. Yeah. Now that we have because my character now knows that there's another air Denasi around somewhere in this world, so he needs it's his like overarching goal to find that and rebuild the oh, world. Oh wait, I gotta write down my cookies. Oh, oh yeah. Right. Yeah. You are nine boxes of bird scout cookies. Jesus yeah. Christ. Alright, wait, let me add that. Alright, uh, I guess we're going to Greater Alertus. No, that is um, uh, one of the biggest islands on the entire in the entire archipelago, uh, and it is where the great king of Greater Alertos lives in his palace. Uh, Vogler, you would probably know the most about this place. It's closer to where you used to live. Really? Um, yeah. Well, I mean, it's not like right where you lived, but it's closer. I guess. But you also might not because you were just chilling in the woods. Yeah. Yeah. You set out. This is going to be a long, uh, long sail. So, uh, 
you're on your ship, you're taking the path. Is there anything you would like to do? Any interactions you'd like to have or just chill out? Um, Talk to the crew. I think, uh, yeah, just chill out with the crew, not really yeah, do the crew a lot, honestly. Yeah. Hanging out? Yeah, stories. get some. Yeah, just chill. See chill. what they got to say about oh, stuff. And I fill you guys in on the new information of the rock. That is true. As you're flying along, passing through the first leg of your journey into the calmer region, um, you spy something interesting. Another airship, but it's not moving. It is simply uh, hovering there. Listing to the side slightly, you see several of the cords attaching to its like propellers and the big balloon are snapped. And it's hanging, listing to one side. And there's black smoke coming out of the engine. Oh, I feel sure. like we might have to go check that out. we have to go out. investigate Let's it. Investigate. You order the crew to pull alongside. You pull up against it. And as you get close enough, you can see all across the deck are bodies everywhere. Humans, aracocras, a couple of dwarves are also there. And you can see that there is one... Um, half elf, uh, who is propped up against the mast and dissolves. And they have, um, as you can see, they've been like speared in the eyes. Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> most of the other having been just like a uh, butcher. What is this? Us from our first DD campaign? Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, our first friend DD campaign. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. You do hear like uh, the one with the with the missing eyes, but. <laughs> They appear to still be alive. Oh. Um, um how, close how close are we? Are we? You have pulled up ship. alongside of it. Okay. Can I float over to their ship? Surely can. Do a little uh do a little air genasi. Yep. As you land, um the guy goes, Who, who's there? Or the the, the elf, half elf goes, Who's there? Uh we're we're here to help. Um what what happened here? Nothing can help us now. We were attacked. We didn't think they went this far north. Well, I it's got to be the rotting. Wait, would I right. use uh, lesser restoration to fix his eyes? Yeah, I, I, I think it says the condition can be, or uh, it can end a disease or condition, and one of the conditions is blinded. This is you touch a creature um, and can end either one. Yeah, you know what? If you can fix blindness, you can. I'll let you do that. That's really cool. All right, I'll cast that. You cast that, and his eyes grow back, and he goes, "Oh, <laughs> everything! Oh, thank you. What did you do? What's your name, sir? My name is Anthony. Anthony. This was just a merchant ship. We were just." Uh, carrying some cargo and we were Ooh. attacked we didn't think pirates went this far north was it Koafetu and his crew yes the unbreakable crew the unbreakable crew they came from nowhere we tried to attack but nothing There's we could no do could beating them. them they took everything there's nothing else here gods we captain Fetu some of the crew that resisted, he fed them to his 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 wyvern. Oh well. His I know the unbreakable crew all too well. You've run into them before. Used to be a used to be a member. Oh what the fuck! <laughs> he starts getting very scared and starts backing away. <laughs> but he no, can't I'm, really because he's also I'm, severely injured. I'm no I I'm no longer a part of that order. Okay. I mean, you're traveling with the Golden Dragon Order, so I, I guess I can trust you. I I realized that I was raised as a pirate with them, but I realized the error of their ways, so I walked away. I, I could not be a part of that any longer. I can't believe they took everything and then sailed off. Is there anyone else alive left on the ship, do you think? Is anyone else, yeah. Did anyone else live? I doubt it. The only reason I'm alive is that I would play dead. Smart. I like this guy. I feel like 
I feel like this guy, if we were to get a ship, we need this guy. Wait, you, we could we could try to repair their ship. Is this ship beyond repair? Fuck oh, Yeah. I guess I guess okay. my I guess Zephyr would probably know that like the way that they destroy ships when they leave them probably so yeah you would know I, the engine I, I think engine. i think i really asked that quick mike i think zephyr probably asked that question more so like knowing the answer hoping that it was a different result than what what usually happened you can tell that this is this ship is probably in like less less than 30 minutes uh is going to lose stability and sink all right can we investigate to see if there's anyone left oh, alive else. Can I... Am I able to carry someone as I float, or no? Or, like, would that not... I feel work? like we're close enough to be able to get him across. Like, like could yeah, I... Yeah. Could I float this guy over to the ship while they investigate the rest yeah, of the... Yeah, sure, you can do that. That's easy yeah. enough. Alright, well, I'm gonna investigate the rest of the ship for people left alive. Roll investigation check. I'm gonna investigate... 18. To see why this ship is uh, on its side and just investigate that. All right. Maybe, maybe investigate more or less like like the damage. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, okay. Never mind. I just could have should have said that instead of saying what the fuck ever I said. Or like what caused it. I don't know. Well, Brayden would know though, I guess. Yeah. I would oh. probably have a general idea of well, how they operate there. Investigate to see what's left other than the bodies. Okay, yeah, well, I investigated, and I got an 18. Okay, we both got 18s. All right. Which is good. Um, you investigate the whole ship very effectively. No one else has survived. Holy but shit. But you can tell several members of this crew um, were, were killed with conventional weapons, but also several members were beaten in half like by a like by a dragon or something close to a dragon some kind of beast and some of them look like they'd just been blunt force trauma like something just really strong badge interesting huh. and you're investigating the damage yes no he's investigating what else is left other than bodies because yeah. we already know the damage from Braden. mm-hmm Everything's been cut apart and ransacked. Um, um, you can find that, like, anything that's of any value at all has been cut and stolen. Stolen, yeah. Even off the people? I kind of figured that they're pirates. Yeah, even off, like, bodies. Do we have, like, a holding area that we could move the bodies to to go bury them? I don't think you have enough time to get them all off. We, the we so. don't have. Yeah. Are there any of them order members? No, they're all just merchants. All right, fuck them. A couple of them are guards, like from uh, from the Grand Reef. Yeah. But they're not anyone. That's they're not in the order. They're just like soldiers, and uh, and they have and, like absolutely nothing on them at all. No, just clothes. Okay. Maybe a few weapons. But nothing of any value. No, no weapons of value. Not any value. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I guess we just leave the ship. Leave the ship and just continue. Go back. We take this guy with us, though. Yeah. You put him aboard the Stay ship, and they take him down to the infirmary. Anthony. Anthony. Sorry. He's a half elf. Right. You continue on your way. With uh, until nightfall begins. Do you have any? Do you just have your crew take care of guarding, or what do you do? For can I can I long rest and maybe they guard that way I can get back my lesser restoration? Yeah, I'll, we can we can guard. stand guard. Yeah, right. you all take a long rest, but you alternate guard positions, so you're uh, you're good. All right, Zephyr, you are up late at night, <laughs> and it's <laughs> always you. <laughs> And uh, that's what the dice said. That's good. <laughs> You're up late at night. Everyone else is asleep. And you hear whistling. Which is odd because no one on the crew else is awake. And it sounds like it's coming from the clouds. 
Uh-oh. <laughs> what do you okay. do? Um, I go up to, like, the, the deck, and I look over the edge down at the clouds. There is someone sitting on a cloud with a little paddle rowing along. They just look like a human, but they're doing that somehow. Um... I call down, I guess. Hello down there. They made me look up for a minute. They're wearing this big, heavy, uh, black cloak. Hood up. Can't really see them. In fact, you can't see their face at all. Just kind of, uh, two orange lights from within the hood. Fuck me. Come on, look at you. And then... No, thanks. The little cloud he's on raises up until he's looking at you. And he goes, hello, I am Kreebark. <laughs> what are you doing out at this point in time, sir? Hmm. What is anyone doing anywhere? It's a fair question, I guess. Valid. But, right. um, you're, you're out alone, just out paddling along. Everyone's alone in their own way, wouldn't you say? I mean, yeah, I guess so. I mean, no one else on my boat is really awake, so it's just me. So I guess I'm alone in that way. This is so weird. But, um, what, what are you out here for anyway? I'm just, just curious. Looking for memories. For memories. Live in the clouds. <laughs> Do they now? You'd be amazed what people leave behind. Interesting. Um. You find anything good tonight? <laughs> Let me look. He reaches into his cloak and he pulls out a simple uh, silver bag. Simple, like, um, cloth bag with silver drawstrings. He opens it up, reaches in, and he pulls out this thin, silvery strand, shimmering in the moon and the light. He goes, hmm, this one's all right. Hmm, this one's okay. <laughs> ah. This one. Excellent. You know why? This one hasn't happened yet. What? You want to know something that hasn't happened yet? Uh, yeah. I would love to. Something very dangerous is coming. Hmm. Bit of advice to the wise. Alter your course. Just a little bit. Three degrees to the north. He gives you a little wink, but it's like one of the lights snuffed out and then came back on. Mm -hmm. Lots of memories made out here, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Would you like to share any of yours? I feel like you should probably ask him if he should meet us. Um, nope. Okay. Um, <laughs> sir, have you Big found any memories of a air genasi or anything as of late, or just in general? Air genasi. Been a while since I've seen one of those. Whatever happened to all of them? Uh, Captain Koafetu and the Unbreakable crew wiped all of them out except for me, or so I thought until I was informed recently of another being alive somewhere. Most so. interesting. Now that must be a particularly painful memory. I thank you for the company, but I haven't seen any others out here. After all, okay. we're all alone in our own way. Mm -hmm. 
Have a nice oh. night, sir. Nice night. And uh, you blink and he's vanished. Like he was never there at all. Mm-hmm. What do you do about his uh, advice that he gave? Um, I go wake up the captain immediately. Why are you waking me up late at night? I'm sleepy. Sir, um, I'm just going to need you to trust me on this one. We have to alter our course three degrees north right now. Oakley, Oakley. Okay. He alters it. He doesn't, he doesn't really that. get it. That's a lot easier than I thought. Okay, Oakley. Oakley, Oakley. It is basically just told, yeah, do whatever they want. <laughs> I'm going to, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, we are we are like controlling this whole tr- trip. Yeah, like, we basically are yeah. the boss. We just tell them what to do. Yeah. Uh, if you stay up a little later that night, you would see uh, you skirt around an extremely intense storm. Yay! Like, good for so us. intense that it could have severely damaged your ship. Damn. Good for it. Good for that guy. Cool. That was big. We didn't Titanic ourselves. Yeah. Morning arrives, and in the distance, Greater Atlantos. Oh yeah, yo. We finally made it. It's this. It's a big fucking island. Like it's <laughs> huge, big boy. big boy. And it's got a big port on there, and you can see this gleaming castle up on the top of this most point of that of like the point of the island is just this big castle with a city kind of uh rolling down the sides and at the uh the edge where you're heading in there's a port although uh, this port is actually a multi-layer port where you have the cool it's like hanging down off the side of the island various landing spots damn that's um, cool. When I wake up, I'm gonna go down to the infirmary and check on the guy that we took from the other ship. <laughs> he's uh he's healing up pretty well. That's okay. good for him. Says, oh, I wanted to thank you again for rescuing me. Of course. It's yes. I should hopefully be able to be back on my feet again in a few days. We'd love for you to join us when that happens. It would be my honor. Good, sir. There we go. We got, we got ourselves a guy. All right. Well, we have things to do. I'm going to be off now. Wish you wish you uh, good healing. You dock uh, at one of the ports, and you show, um, I believe, Ali Faris gave you like a little a little introductory token. Yeah, he gave us a mm-hmm. paper. Of, yeah, a little uh, paper thing. Basically said we're the shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, you're you're talking to a custom agent who's like this like it's like a little gnome. He's got big glasses and he looks at it and he goes, mm-hmm. "Okay, uh, go park. You can uh, drop the airship off in uh, that sector up there. Uh, take the road up that way, and um, you should be good to enter the town." Thank you, thank you, good sir. All right. He writes down a couple of notes. You make your way into the city. And that is where we will end episode 7. In the next episode, we go on to explore the island more, and you'll have to watch and find out what happens.